Yo, what it do, man? This is Grindface and the Therapist. This is Demetrius. And this is Sania. We've been together for 28 years, married for 23 or 22, but who's counting? This is episode 13, and we're going to get on time. Value your time. So, you know what I'm saying? I came across this thought process of time. Everybody is chasing money. They feel like money is the key element of life. But I, I feel like time is the most valuable thing. In a person's life, you want to ask why she's in her phone right now? She's is somewhere else, but mm-hmm. she's not tapping in. Business, but okay. What? See what? <laughs> Whoa, time is more valuable than money. Do you agree or disagree with that? You already know my answer. So basically, I always say this, and I had to learn this the hard way. If I give you a hundred dollars. I can come back and ask you for that $100 and give that $100 back. But if I give you my hour, give you an hour of my time, I can't come back and ask you that hour for that hour back. And so for me, the older I get, the more I am stingier with my time. Like my phone rings sometimes, I don't answer. You know, I'm not quick to just give up my time so easily. And that came from pouring into so many people to then not listen and hear somebody else because they're famous said all of a sudden they got your attention but they're telling you the same exact thing I said and I also feel like people don't value your time so I do think time is more valuable than currency yeah I had a situation um you know people that know me know I like to share information put them up on game so you know I I used to um a couple people have phone calls sat on the phone with them like 45 minutes sharing all the game breaking it down and then come to realize they don't need utilize the information i gave them it's like damn you just wasted an hour of my time that i can't get back of me pouring into you you know what i'm saying so now it's like i'm coming to the point like i'm not sharing information no more if you want to sit down and get game from me you're gonna have to pay for my time because at the end of the day we all sell our time when you go to work you already made an agreement with your employer on how much your time costs, which is $20 an hour, $15 an hour, or you volunteering your time for court. Who knows? But you, you made an agreement for your time. So I think time is very more valuable than money because we selling our time. Even if you don't realize that you're selling your time, your time is being sold and people's buying your time. It's just, what do you set? What's the value of your time? You're going to share it. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just thinking about, dang, that was deep. I was just sitting here just analyzing, like, social media, how... They steal your time. They, 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 they no, they're buying your off, time because they're... They're making they're, money off your they're, time. They're getting money, but... You know what I'm you're saying? You're not getting thing in return, but that view, that watch, they're yeah. getting paid. If you said it, and that's what a lot of people... Oh, you on, you just... Even you clout chasing. No, I'm, I'm making money off your time. Your comment, your thing. I'm making money off your time. And people don't realize my business angle of me making money off your time. So social media is a big business. They getting paid for your time sitting on their platform, scrolling, watching everything you watch, and you thinking you just killing free time. That's crazy. You are killing free time, but somebody's making money off your time and you're getting well, I guess you feel like you're killing time. But even oh, that's so good. The, the the phrase killing time, killing time, because when you think about that, we're all leaving here one day, right? And I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you could go to wherever these people are at and ask them what is the one thing they would want, I guarantee you they probably it's would say time. more time. More time. They probably, they wouldn't say more money. They wouldn't say more, more clothes more, you know, businesses, more, bu- they're going to tell you they want more time. They, they want to come back and have the time to experience life again. And so I don't think people understand when, Hey, I'm killing time or look, time matters to me. And I was just talking to a family member the other day and I was like, you know, I don't desire to be on my phone. Like people call me, especially if I'm in the car, I'm vibing. I don't know. I just been for the last few months, like on this music vibing tip. Yeah. I like to play my music loud when I'm driving. Yeah. So I don't, and it's crazy because I used to like to drive silent and now it's like, 
I listen to my music. So if you call me and I'm in the car, you're definitely not getting answered. It depends on who it is and what it is. And it has to be something important. But I'm not answering my phone because that's my time. You know, that's my time I want to decompress. That's my time when I just want to do me. And so time is a, is a thing that I don't think people really look at it in the sense of, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't value, get this back. Yeah, they don't value. value time. Yeah. So even like you think about it, like you got everybody, you hear people say this, that we all got the same 24 hours of the day. So I say sit down and break down your 24 hours. Most people spend, what, the average eight hours sleep? Sleep, yeah. Then you spend eight hours at work. That's 16 hours of your day already. You know what I'm saying? So Actually nine hours because if you count in lunch. Lunch hour. Mm -hmm. So nine hours, that's what, 17 hours? Let's say dry time. The other hour, you really don't have that much time to yourself. So when you get that time to yourself, what are you doing to put yourself and in that's a better not position. A, and that's not a lot of time. But let's think about, because I read an article some months back. Actually, you showed me the article. When people have too much time, they become depressed. And they become depressed because it's idle time. And so I think, I really believe working, because you see people that are retired and they're bored. I know when I'm like at home all day, and let's say there's been days, I'm going to be honest with you, when I first quit my job to start my company, and my company didn't take off and I was at home all day. I was like, nah, this is like, I got to find something to do because it was too much idle time. I didn't have just sitting around, you know, my kids at school. Like this is, I've been a, 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 a housewife, like it's too much time. And so I think yeah. when you have too much time, you know, I don't think there's anything bad about having a nine to five because it's implementing time in your day to be productive. And, and this part is social. Social, obviously your livelihood because you have to basically make money to pay for things. But what I'm saying is you just need to know how you spend your time. Now, if you had a, a job, a dead end job and spend, yeah, you're, you're, you're killing time. You're wasting time. But oh, hold on, because I had to put this because you said a dead end job. But also you be wasting your time in these dead end relationships. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I know you, you could, you could be in a, a relationship. No, it's not going nowhere. The person is straight cheating on you, dogging you out, spend 15, 20 years. And all that is wasted time. It's Once wasted you wake time. up, you wasted 20 years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like time is very, very valuable. And it's like, you got to pay attention on where you spending your, your time, time at. On. I'm going to share this story. Cause I know my baby ain't going to mind. I ain't gonna say her name, but I remember I was having a conversation with her and we was like 20 and I told her, I was like, in 20 years, you're going to look up and you're going to think at 40, where did my life go? I'm like, you wasting your time with this dude. Like this dude is not trying to do anything. He's not trying to get better. Nothing about him is changing. And I said, and you going to look up and you're going to be mad. We turned 40 last year. She looked up. And she says she wasted 20 years of her life and let it go. And so for me, even in relationships, you know, you want to invest on good soil. Sometimes the proof is in the pudding. We just don't want to see it. And, and, and that's time. You can't go back 20 years from like 40 to like 18. You can't go and get that time back. You know how many people she would have came across, how many <laughs> people funny. she would have dated, how many yeah, uh, uh, found her mate. In, in 22 years, that's a lot of time. I seen this um, little clip with Steve Harvey. He said, a man ain't changed only for one woman. And if he ain't changed, you ain't that one woman. <laughs> I don't even think, I think a lot of times too, even with that, people don't change because they don't feel like they have to. If I could rob a bank and keep robbing it and basically keep getting money, why would I stop robbing the bank? I think many times we, we get treated how, how would we allow. We teach people how to treat us based on what we allow. And I think a lot of times when you don't leave, because if she had left, let's say 15, 20 years ago, he probably would have stepped up and said, hey, I'm going to lose her. But if I know you ain't going nowhere, what do I need to change for? True. True. So your time, people, um, even with the um – I want to say your time you, you uh, with your kids. Kids are getting older. I mean, certain things you can't get back. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that time with your kids. You can't like, go back and get that back. If you wasn't there when they was growing up and you try to reconnect when they adults, it's a it's total impossible. different. Yeah, it's, you got to connect with where they're at now because, and I think about that, like when I was working with my youngest and I wasn't able to attend certain stuff and different things. And that's why with my staff, that's what I'm saying. When they come in like, hey, I need to take, cool, go ahead. Because I understand I'm, I'm big on family. And I remember when that was me and my baby making honor roll every time they have award assemblies and I can't go because I'm working for the county of San Bernardino and I can't take time off. You know what I'm saying? My supervisor looking at me crazy because I'm asking to go to my baby's award assembly. Like my baby's on honor roll every every assembly and no one's there. Like I don't want my baby looking out in the crowd. And that was me. And that's why I was like, no, nah, I have to change this after a year I left. You know what I mean? And, and where I went after that, Anytime, like, hey, my baby having a go, Sania, go ahead and go. And so for me, you got to be mindful. Like, you don't get those moments back with your kids. Like, you, those are like pivotal moments because your kid, we are only kids one time. If I could go back and be a kid again, man, like, you're going to be an adult for the rest of your life. Yeah. You only get one time to be a kid. Well, that's a short time. And, and that There's time goes time. by quick. So when I see people that don't be wanting to spend time with their kids, don't be wanting to be bothered with their kids, and I'm like, you don't even know. You're setting up a foundation for when they're adults that they're not even going to want to be bothered with you because you're not building a relationship with the time that you have been given. You want to party. You want to go out. You want to chase this man, chase this female, be at the club, basically be on hood day, be out with your home girls, your homeboys, your friends or whatever. You know what I mean? Flexing for social media, but you don't get to go back and say, Hey God, I need another five years with my kids. Can you make them go? Like it just don't work like that. So once you missed it, you missed it. Yeah, you got me even thinking as um, the wrong feet, the wrong wrongly accused who be serving twenty years, thirty years, and get released because the the conviction was overturned and shit. Like people you think you released and you they got money, yeah, you, you don't get that like, time back. That's fuck. those are pivotal Man. developmental. It's this guy. I mean, dang, he um, I don't know his name, but he was like Middle Eastern. And they said he had raped an Asian girl that was a girlfriend. And I remember watching his story years ago, years ago. It was a documentary on it. And I was like, it don't sound like he did this. And he was in high school. They just released him. I think he's like in his 30s or 40s. But people be like, but he got out. But you know, do you know how many developmental milestones yeah. that he has missed? That he went from being in high school to just being like a full grown man. Like you don't get to date. Well, you get to date, but like all the trial and errors that should have been made then, you don't get that do over. Yeah, that time is, is lost and gone. That time was stolen from you. You know what? That's a key, right? Stolen time. Yeah, I call people time thieves. You know, I had a lot of time thieves in my life. Oh, 10 yeah. Years I, I, used ago. To, I used to love it because she'd be on the phone and shit talking as soon as the person she talked to their man come home oh i gotta go yeah <laughs> i was like see but they wanted to talk to me though it wasn't like i was calling them yeah. and then i start realizing oh i'm a time filler like you're using me for your time you know what i'm saying and i cut it off because you're you're a time thief like you really going through stuff calling me about your problems and i'm really there but i'm gonna say this they wasn't wrong for getting off the phone when their dude walked through the door. I don't know. I'm just the type of person. I am who I am in front of my husband. When he's not around, when he, it don't change for me. Some people change when they mates come. So you get a, you get Susie when they there. You know what I'm saying? And you get Ratchet Tuesday when they gone. So you get different people depending on who, who why, you. Why I got to be Susie? Because Susie's the calm down version. I don't gossip. I don't. And let their man walk out the room. It's like, who so, are you? So it's no black name. It's the calm version. Well, it could be Ra saying. it could be Raquila, okay? Rakisha, you know Shalita, Sanita. Because well, you, you you went straight to Susan as the calm. I didn't think about person. it. I'm, it wasn't it was a naturally, thought. It was naturally. It's not. In, I in always Reddit. use Susie, but I use the same names because if it's out of uh, breaking the cycles, I always so I always go to that. That's my go to. So, but anyways, my point is this: I always say Susie or but that's yeah. So, no, it doesn't have any meaning behind the name. Calm is calm. What I'm saying is I learned a long time ago to differentiate between a time thief 
and somebody that really needs help. And it doesn't matter how much help you need. People probably think I'm mean now because they'll be like, oh, such a thing. I don't know. When you are a therapist, everybody just think you to go to for mental health, you know, like, hey, go to psychology today. I will definitely refer them to another therapist and refer them, hey, I'm not going to give up my time. I'm just not. And people don't understand that. I've given up my time for so many years that my time is valuable. I'm not giving my time away like that. And then when you give your time, they don't use the information you give them. I don't. It's, that's not the point. I think many. Well, let's let's hold before on. You go this on. got me on something right now. I feel like too when and this is my biggest. This is another reason why I remove myself from people, because when you're around people and you invest a lot of time and people are in your presence, they disrespect or devalue you. And it's like, you could be among Einstein intellectually. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, oh, no, that's Sunia. We're around her all the time. And so that was an eye-opener for me, too. Like, I'm giving you too much access. I'm giving you too much of my time to where now you're devaluing me as a person and not even recognizing who I am when I step in the room. And that's not to be arrogant at all. But I think sometimes when we have too much time with a person, we don't see them as the gift or the value that they are. We just see them as, oh, yeah, that's that's Demetrius. Yes. Ooh, that's corn. They devalue me all the time, but I ain't tripping. That's shit, less important conversations than me. But um, how could one identify a time thief? Like, you can you break it down to somebody so they can know your meaning of? When you're draining. So, so when somebody's just constantly pulling and sucking from you. A time thief. It's a time thief. You're you're just taking and not giving anything. It's it's not a two way street. So the, you you just it's no pouring back. You're saying. Yeah, you're a time thief. Like for example, I'm not saying somebody that you mentor, somebody that really wants it, but a time thief is typically always trying to gain from you or pull from you or take your time, and then you sit up and you're like, what am I getting out of this situation? I don't even feel like. I don't even feel gratification in giving you information because everything that you're doing is the waste of my time. Because after I've given you so much information and you're still sitting over on the information, now you're stealing my time. Well, that, that's the same thing I was saying earlier. That's why I'm charging the asses now. Well, I, well, Shit. I don't think you should charge everybody. Cause I feel like this God gives us game to give away game. I just think you got to know who to give the game to, you know what I mean? And that's what I had to learn. I'm never going to change me. I'm a giver by nature. I'm not going to change me. I just change who I do it for. But is it wrong to charge for your time? I don't think I mean, it's wrong to change for your time, but there may be somebody. charge for your time. There isn't anything wrong for charging for your time. But I do think there's going to be someone that can afford your time. That is the next Bill Gates. That is the next Steve Jobs. That is the next Bezos or Elon Musk okay, or whatever, but, but, let, let, and let, they need that information. Okay, let's, let's say, okay, because you just brought a good thing. You're saying it's nothing wrong to charge for my time, but yet these people want this one-on-one -on -one time but won't attend the group free class. That's not what I'm talking you know, about. But this is what I'm talking about. That's That's not, what I'm, so if you if you ain't willing to go to the, the free class of a group class, why should I invest the one-on-one -on -one time? Because now I'm I think not talking it, it's about somebody like that. It is the same this thing like that. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what you're talking about. This is what I'm talking about. But so, you asked me a question. Well, go ahead. I'm just saying. It's like, so don't get mad. Like, basically, that I'm not giving you the one-on-one -on -one if you're not taking the, giving the, taking the free class. And that's what I mean. It's like, so you're going to have to pay the one-on-one -on -one fee. If, because if you really want the information. You're not saying, respecting my time. My, my my point exactly. If you really want the information, you would take what's ever out there. Like, oh, he's offering a class. Oh, he got a seminar. Let me attend the seminar. You but know what I'm saying? Don't, don't want to hit me. That, I want to have a listen, private conversation with but you. Listen, know. It's like, the people that do that are the people that know you. Do you know I get the most respect from people that don't know me? A prophet is never respected in his own country. That's biblical. Biblical. Jesus was not respected in his hometown. It wasn't his family and people. It was people that didn't know him because one thing that I know about people is the people that don't have the access and don't know you that value it. It's only the people that have it. It's like a, a kid being raised in a, a, a wealthy family. 
They don't appreciate or value what they have because they have normalized it. I have this all the time. So when you're around family and friends and people were well, not your friends, because my friends, I will say they value me. But when you're around family, people are people that are accustomed to you, uh, family members and people that are accustomed to you. They normalize it. There's no, they do value you because this is Demetrius. We're going to see Demetrius next week. I can ask him this question. It's the people that don't know you. And that's what I'm saying. Somebody to you, somebody may come to you that may not be able to afford to speak to you, but really take the information, respect the information and build up on the information and execute the information. Those are the people I like to talk to. Yeah, I, and those are I don't spend that, time with family. And those are the people I thought I talked to and shared the information and just wasted my damn time. Hey, well, if you, you had that situation, and no, I, well, I'm, I'm not gonna talking be about one time, several I'm, times. But it's see, like, but you see, know but that's where you went wrong because I'm gonna give you the information once, right? I didn't give them once. Once. Now you gotta pay because I'm not about to sit back because I used to do that. And I don't know how you're doing that when you taught me not to do that. Oh, Sadia, you're too nice, you're too nice, you're too nice. You know what I mean? I don't mind giving the information for free, but what you're not about to do is waste my time. So if you want the information, even when I give you the information, it's going to be on my time. Then I start learning that. Just give them Hold a, on, because that sounds crazy. I got, I, got to, I got to say, on my time and my terms, meaning when I'm available and want to do it. I'm sure. not going to just stop jump, like, jump oh, yeah, I'm not going to jump. Oh, you want to get on the. F nah, I don't. This not right. Not during this time. I'm going to do it when I want to give up the time to do it. Yeah, you got a point. And that may be next month. And I learned just give them increments. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if you can't do step one, it's no need me to break down the 10 steps if you can't even do step one. So that would save you a lot of time when you're trying to share information. You want to see if somebody's serious? Tell them to write a business plan and then come back and have a conversation with you. Well, I ain't talking about people trying to start a business. But what you want the information for? Like, you know, so um, time, people, time. Because, you know what I'm saying? She must be bored because she's on Instagram right now. No. Strolling through. I'm actually waiting actually for somebody. Was, uh, but you're on podcast. You, you waiting wasting, for somebody time. no i'm waiting for the, a business uh, person blah, 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 to blah. give me some information on a new business proposition and something i'm trying to do so value your time and watch the time thief don't kill your time um and how much you selling your time that's it you know what i'm saying where what should you value your I time think the, like? i think you should sell your time but i also think there should be charity with time but i also think there should be peaceful time because always share always selling your time maybe you basically exchanging your time for money and and money can't buy my time let's 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 be clear on that but money could pay that bill what i'm saying is it has to make sense because if somebody's always charging for their time at what point do you have time for you so even you still wasting time because when you clock out it, it don't matter how much money you made off this time what time did you spend enjoying life well, they need the money to enjoy life. I'm not saying like you work and have a job. I'm just saying like there's people literally every trying to figure out how they can make money. Oh, oh um, and that chasing, yeah, like chasing, chasing money. Chasing money. Okay. Everything is money, 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 money. At what point do you stop looking enjoy. at the money and just enjoy your time? Yes, enjoy your time. Because, you know, tomorrow ain't promised. Man, so many people have been seeing so many deaths. And my dad, he, I think he think I'm crazy. People die every day. I'm like, yeah, they do. But I've never seen this many deaths since 2020 and premature deaths. People died at a young age for no reason, no sense, no method at all. And so I think many times we think, well, I got time. I'm only 30. I'm only 20. No, you don't. You may have the end of this week. And what did you do with that time? What are we watching? This is a kind of like, I thought it was like, I don't like demonic or um, midnight club. I don't like demonic or Netflix, midnight club horror shows. I, I, that ain't my thing, but he put it on. I'm like, Oh, this look demonic. I don't want to watch this. And it's midnight club. And it's these teenagers and they all have cancer and they're dying and they go live in like this hospice house to where they all know they're dying. They've seen people die. Like some of the kids die while they're there and they're 
thinking about, which I don't know why they never leave the house. Cause I'm like, you leave the house, you should have time. But anyways, so Demetrius was saying, Oh, I think it's good for them to be at the house because they're around people that can relate to them. But it was a, I was like, I think that's dumb. If my kid had cancer, God forbid that you don't ever give my kid that and make them suffer like that. I would want to spend every last day I have with my kid. That's you. That's your selfish thinking. No, if my kid wanted to go there, but you didn't let me finish. Well, you pause. You gave that long ass pause again. You didn't like, you let always me finish. Do that. <laughs> so when the parents came for family, well, so it was family day and some of the parents didn't even show up. And the little girl, they sent her like a teddy bear and like a, a gift. And she was like, oh, just put the teddy bear with the rest. It was like over 20 teddy bears. So they would never come to see her on family day. And it's like, dang, like you really sit here and, and I'm all about generational wealth and creating money and stuff. But I also understand I want to enjoy it. I also understand I want to spend time with the people that I love while they're here because I do also understand we all have an expiration date and we're not going to be here forever. And so when you think about time, I think it's very vital and pivotal to think about how you're utilizing your time. I agree because everybody could say that they wish they had more time with them. Yeah, if you go to these away, people and we can lost, really talk like to them. One more time with but if person. you go to the people that's not here anymore, I guarantee you the one thing they will say is I want to be back on earth. Just give me more time. They not tripping off everything y'all tripping off of. They their request, I'm sure 99.9, I'm sure, will be like, I want more time. If I could have just had more time. So why do you think it's so hard for people to value time? Because it's like the family member that you always see. We devalue time because we become entitled we to wake time. Up every morning. We because just like, I'm going to wake up tomorrow anyway. Like people to don't yeah. because they normalize it. Because people really think, I'm going to wake up in the morning. They really have this mentality that I'm not going anywhere. You get what I'm saying? People don't even think about death until it's somebody close to them. It's like, dang, death is real. Yeah, death is real. But, the, but you, you know why people don't think about death? Because people don't want to talk about death. You used to be, you used to be like, oh, why are you talking? Because this is how I want to be buried. No, this is how you, my want my casket. People but I'm not don't gonna like do what you want to do. This what I'm saying. People don't like to talk about death because why? This so is, this my is why thing. they feel like they got time because this, people don't discuss. But death. this is my thing. Even with death, I think is. Dumb to, I'm not going to be there. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to be there. So whatever you choose to do, do it. I don't think you should waste all this money over something. I'm not here. This is going to be left at the hospital. Leave me at the hospital. My body, my soul ain't there. Like my soul is not there. The only thing I'm going to say is make sure my babies is good. That's it. But what, why you don't think people like to discuss death? Because I think people are scared of death. Like, I'm not scared of death because I know who I am and whose I am. I know what's up, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what's happening. I know. So, for me, it's not a fear to me, and it's something that you, it's inevitable. It's not, some, it's not something that you can escape. I think people don't like to talk about death because it's a fear. Because people want more time. Mm -hmm. They don't want to die. They want time on this earth. But then, even if, because I don't think people really sit and think about, I want time. They just subconsciously know they want time but in reality don't give praise to god that you even woke up because you know what again they automatically think i'm waking up in the morning yeah it's old to them this is old to me yeah I, i'm waking up tomorrow until somebody don't wake up and it's like oh i remember when kobe passed away it was like a reality to people and i'm like what y'all thought because he was a celebrity he can like no one can escape death no one. Well, that was an accident too, though. But I still, it I doesn't yeah. matter. Okay, it was an accident to you. It wasn't an accident to God because God knew what was going to happen before it happened. So even though we say it's an accident, like everybody, whether people think, oh, they got in a car accident, oh, they had an illness, oh, at the end of the day, that's that's show that's some people go prematurely. Some people can go yeah, before but, their time by putting themselves in situations. Different deaths affect you differently. You know oh, if saying? it's a murder, it, it yeah, murder yeah, to cancer yeah. to an accident, yeah, it it's is different, it, different type of hurts. It you know is. What I'm it's one. Well, I think I don't think it's different type of hurts. 
I think it's a different, I think it's different. Well, I guess it is a different type of hurt. I think when someone is sick and it's already expected, well, no, I, I don't even think it's a different type of hurt because I think death can't always prepare you because people respond to Cause somebody can know their loved one is going to die for two years and it's even worse because they could feel like that's torture. So I think it just depends on the person. But for me, I never want my loved ones to die a tragic death, like murder or something like, cause that I'm like, God, come on. Like for real, I don't want something like, if you told me they was just peaceful, sleep, cool. Okay. God, I know you got them. But when it's like tragedy, I think because there's so much anger, there's so much, it's, it could be anger if it's not tragedy, but it's just so much attached to that, that I'm like, yeah, I, I don't ever want my loved ones to go like that. So since we're talking about death, let's let's even go why people afraid to get life insurance. It's like, I think that's very irresponsible to not get life insurance when you're a certain age or li- it, live in a certain lifestyle. Well, we have been become accustomed to thinking if we get life insurance that our mates or somebody's going to kill us all for the life policy. I mean, for the insurance policy. But in reality, I do think it's irresponsible because when you go, you leaving all that responsibility on somebody else. That's why, you know what? I had a, a conversation with my cousin, shout out to Dante Collier. Right. And I'm just giving money, giving money, giving money, giving money for GoFundMe's for funerals. And he said, Hey, I got to pay my bills. He said, if I give it to him, I give it to him, but they not here no more. And I said, you know what? I said, I'm not giving no more to no GoFundMe's. I'm not. And I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to give no more to no GoFundMe. Because I really believe like this. Do what you can afford. Yeah, it's options. Who yeah. said that you have to have a casket? Who said you have to have a funeral? Who said this? Like, who made this up? I feel like if you don't have the money for it, do what's in your Budget. Your, your budget because you can go have a balloon release you it's so many different ways that you can honor them without spending this mass of money going in debt borrowing money like i'm like i'm not giving no go me money anymore because at the end of the day do what's in your budget you know what i mean because who said made up the rule that you have to have a funeral yeah, it's a it's a business. They 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 planted that in your head from the jump. That you, you know? gotta have a funeral. You do not have to have a funeral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, it's one funeral that had me that went viral. That they had him at the club, his whole body and stuff. Like this is this is different. You know what I'm saying? Because who said you got to be at the church? But who says you have to do what anybody says? Yeah. And my thing is, I feel like families. They get extorted and they and they get this stress. First of all, you just lost your loved one. Now you got stress. How you going to bury it? Like, no. To uphold the standard. I got to have a funeral. No, do what's in your budget. So I do think it's irresponsible to not have life insurance. Because now, because, you know, everything used to fall on us. I'm at the point now. They ain't got life insurance. We just going to do what's in their budget. Amen. Oh, oh, man. One of them. Somebody gonna be listening to this is gonna be hot. But hey, I'm telling you, we doing what's in your budget. Yes. So if you ain't got life insurance, you better get it. Triple A got uh, But this is know. my thing, like, and I tell Demetrius, I tell my husband, like, I don't care. Like, God forbid I go before him. I wanna live old. I wanna live like to one twenty. <laughs> but I do. Oh shit. Really? But but this is the thing. I ain't trying to be that old. I look, I want to be old. So, but my point is, if I do go and it's in God's will, you don't have to do all, like, I'm not there. I'm not there. Not spend all this money, wasting this money to appease other people. Because in reality, the people that's really going to be hurt is people, my siblings, people that are close to me, my kids, you, my parents. People that are really going to be hurt. Everybody else. Think about a funeral. It's a party. Hold Shit, on. You think about a funeral. Go to when people go to a drunk. funeral, everybody social. The people that's really hurt are the people that's really. Everybody socializing, having a good time, going to the repast, people in the parking lot. Drink. So it's like, why would I waste this money? But, but they say it is a celebration. It is a celebration. Okay. But then. I'm not spending money for everybody else to celebrate. When you telling me cousins and all these people showed up well, that don't really care. Everybody donated to the GoFundMe. So that listen, listen. Everybody celebrating. I'm just letting you know already now. The only people I'm worried about is something happened to you is my kids, and it ends there. End of story. What do y'all want to do? How do y'all? I don't care about everybody else. 
Because at the end of the day, their lives are going to go on. The people that's really going to be affected indefinitely are your kids. And I'm not saying people got people that they rock with that's really going to be affected. But you ain't got to do all that for me. Do not basically spend money for everybody else to have a good time. And my kids are sitting here like basically stressed out. No, no. Okay, it's documented. It's documented. Leaving her ass at the hospital. <laughs> 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 you leaving me at the hospital? At the, I don't even like, care. You gonna be a Jane Doe or let you tell it Susan Doe? I mean, you can't <laughs> leave me at the hospital because my kids would be affected by that. But what I'm saying is, I'm serious when I say that. I'm not worried about. You know what I mean? I want my kids to be good. That's my primary concern. I pray to God. You know what I'm saying? That if it were to happen but at the that end of my the day, kids are okay. Take the proper preparation for it. And that's that's what we trying to get to is like be responsible. Don't leave all that heavy weight to your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? It's like they already going through it because you passed away, but now they gotta think about the financial stress. Yeah. So you know now that's saying? another so stress. It's irresponsible. You going to McDonald's every day spending twenty dollars, you could be paying for life insurance. Twenty dollars a month. Actually, you know what I'm saying? So it's like be responsible. If you really love your loved ones, go get you life insurance. And tell them Grindface sent you, so I'll get that referral bonus. I should have I should have looked that up so but I could get a place to go and give me a referral bonus. Nah, I do <laughs> think like even with death though in time, people need to, to 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 take it more serious. You know? Yes, I'm thankful every morning I wake up. We know. I know. You know what? That's your thing for every morning. Uh-uh. I would say something, but I'm not. Yeah. Keep it PG. <laughs> <laughs> so um, time, time thieves. Y'all got to stop stealing time. I guess the time thieves are the boring people that's bored too. This one. I don't think that they're necessarily no, bored. I think the they're people, in crisis. Chaotic uh, life. A chaotic I disagree, life. Because some people just. Some is boredom and some is chaotic. No, some is boring and some. Number to number. I want to find somebody boring. to talk to. Some is bored, is boredom, and then some people is just a chaotic, um, drama-filled life. Because peace, peace brings still. You know when I'm most peaceful is when I'm just relaxed, chilling, quiet. Just I'm at peace, just sound mind, along with my thoughts, sleep, and a long time with my sleep thoughts. Sleep is still in time too. Listen, sleep is my coping it's, skill. Sleep is death. I like a nap or two. You wasting time. I'm not wasting time. See, that's why I be up like five o'clock in the and morning. She want to sleep. Like, wake your ass it's up. Annoying. It's time to get like, let's get it's, up. It's annoying. Like, He's always trying like, to wake me up on purpose shit. in the morning. I'm you up. just do that meme when <laughs> when I get woke up out of my sleep. How I look? <laughs> like, shit, let's get up. You send me that meme with yeah. I get here. Do not wake me up. Do not. I like sleep, and that's one of the ways I relax alone with my. That's not a waste of time for me because it's rejuvenating me. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's putting me, putting everything that I poured out back in. Even when I'm in, I don't have, this is the thing with me. I don't have to be in a room full of people and around people. Like I could just be chilling with myself and have a good time. Hey man, here, give me a coin. And she be chilling with herself, having a good time. You get irritated when I chill with myself. No, nah, I just was going to say some things, but I was I ain't going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep, it, keep it friendly. Some way child might be listening. Go ahead. So back to um, time thieves, sleeping too much. I, I done lost my, my train of thought because I got. I no, it's not sleep. Too, sleeping too mm-hmm. much is, is too much time. I don't sleep too much. I sleep just enough. To make me feel good. Re-energize. Charge your battery up, I guess. There's it's nothing wrong with charging your battery up. Um, but what I was going to say was, I don't know. I yeah, because I, you know, I knew you didn't know what you was going to say when you said, because what I could say, like you introducing what you're going to say. So <laughs> like, you're trying to think about, because what I was going to say, what, nah, you're trying to think about what you were going to say. I was like, he don't know what he's going to say. Because I had to filter myself and I lost train of thought. Because your was mind went in the gutter and yeah. you had to bring it back. So basically, I'm trying to um, swim through the bullshit and get back to the point um, of time. 
but can, you can help me out again so I could. I like to see you squirm. Like shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's being flirtatious right now. But anyways, so that's all I have to say about time. Well, I guess we, that we ain't going to milk it because we already done store, stole 40 minutes of your time on this. No, 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 no. What? Because I didn't steal anything. Like, this is good info. No, I didn't steal anything. Well, if you listen this to is you, and this, this is 40. It. No, this is 40 minutes of investment of your time. This is an investment because if you listening to this and you feel like your time has been stolen, you really need to open your mind because this episode, well, I'm always talking about truth and knowledge. And so you listening and you think your time has been stolen. I think you need to level your mind. That triggers something out of you, huh? Like, nah, on, you're not going to sit with I, me. I ain't no thief. You, you, like, shit, yeah, you're not going to sit with me and time gets stolen. I ain't stole shit. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. no. It, it's going to be pure bars and intellect Shark, out of this mouth. Sharkeisha got pissed off. I'm not Sharkeisha. <laughs> Don't do me. Do not. <laughs> So we're going to wrap this episode up, man. We appreciate y'all for listening and tapping in at this end of the podcast. Y'all can check me out on I Am Grindface on everything. Everything's Sunia Mayo. And as we always say, continue to break cycles. And we out.